Oh gosh, this is. I'm scared about this mic wire because I'm scared that I'm gonna mute myself by accident. That has happened too many times before to me. I feel weird. I haven't filmed in like a week, maybe two weeks, maybe like a week. I don't know what time is weird. I feel weird. See? Oh, it's not muted. <laughs> it's just. Welcome back! What's up guys, it's Ange, and today we're gonna be watching Ocean's Eleven. I've never watched this movie before, and my editor was like, why not do a heist movie? Because I was playing Dungeons and Dragons, which you guys know that I'm obsessed with now. We were planning a heist, and he was like, haha, do a heist movie, haha, -ha, funny jokes. And I was like, bet, I'm doing a heist movie. Just to prepare me for the vibes for D&D &D tonight. That's how obsessed I am with D&D. &D. Also, Ocean's Eleven. Who's Ocean and why are there 11? And why did. Who's Ocean and why does he have 11? Why not 10? Why not 12? These are the answers. These are the questions I need answers to. <laughs> oh god. This commentary is gonna be so bad. <laughs> All right, let's just dive right. There's nothing else to preface. Before we begin, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet already. So stay tuned to all my content. And don't forget to check out my new podcast that I launched with my good friends, Billy Bindress and Movies in Depth. Go check that out. We are two episodes in in the time of this recording. Probably by the time this is out, it's going to be three episodes out. So go watch, support, and yeah. If you guys want to check out the full-length uncut commentary to this movie, make sure you check out my Patreon page. We can gain full access to that and future movie slash TV shows that I do on this channel. Also, it's just a great way to support me, my editor, to keep us doing what we love doing, making commentaries and funny little little videos like these for you. I just, it's been two days of like seriously hot weather and my air conditioning was broken up until 30 minutes ago, literally. So it's still pretty hot in my house. And I think I've just gone loco because of the last, I don't know how long of heat exhaustion. I'm probably heat exhausted. On to the commentary. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah, that's gonna be the way. That's just, just do on to the cup. Just go straight in. Wow, that fan seems very nice. Would have been nice for me to have yesterday. Trying to sleep in my 92 degree house. Please state your name for the record. Daniel Ocean. Oh. So you're Ocean. While this was your first conviction, you have been implicated, though never charged, in over a dozen other confidence schemes and frauds. As you say, ma'am, I was never charged. <laughs> he says, doesn't mean it's not true. I like that. He has a sense of pride in him. My wife left me. I was upset. She already left me once. I don't think she'd do it again just for kicks. <laughs> that was cr Did you see him almost laugh from that? He had a little smirk, a little twitch in his face. What person, what guy from prison is going to be like, yep, if you let me out, I'm doing it again. Unless they really wanted to stay, then they'd say it. But like, which guy who wants to come out of prison is going to be like, yeah, I'm, I'm likely to repeat, the, repeat beha the behavior. I love how he got like arrested or whatever in this nice outfit like that looks freshly pressed no way his suit is this w wrinkle free that's dry cleaned how long was he in jail for two days this is mr clooney i just registered that right wow i didn't recognize him this young looking is that mean maybe maybe not actually i'm just stating the facts this was like 2000 or 2002 movie why is the contrast so high like, look at how the whites of this shot and then the blacks of this shot. It's so dark. And then if you see the lights, like the lamps, they're so, like, bright. I'm kind of not liking it. But it also almost makes it seem like a comic book feel. No, sir. I wouldn't even think about leaving the state. He's going to leave the state. <gasps> Brad Pitt in his prime. Are you kidding me? Everyone had a crush on Brad Pitt in this era. You can't tell me otherwise. Look at his face. Hell, I still have a crush on him now. And it's 20 years later. No, not Bernie, my business manager. Oh my God, is that Topher Grace? Just his thing, stupid. Oh my God, that's Topher Grace. 
he's amazing. Uh, he's such an underrated actor, in my opinion. Like, he's so good. He needs to be in more things, in my opinion. I don't know if he's still acting, but man, he's great. Also, that 70s show has got to be, like, my favorite sitcom. Blue. 50. Oh. Okay. All right. Oh my god, that's the guy from- That's, a uh, uh, Shane White? Is that his name? That's the guy from Walk to Remember! So many familiar faces! What the heck? I'm so confused. Why haven't I watched this sooner? It's like all my favorite people in one room. I'd be so good at dancing in a box like that. That girl, like, all she's doing is putting her legs on the chair! I can so do that! Where are my tips? That's exact- this is exactly what she did! Imagine I did the whole commentary sitting like this. I'm technically a girl in, the, in a box, in like a room, square room right now. But it's virtual, cause on your screen I'm a square, rectangle, 1920 by 1080 pixels. Oh my gosh, those girls are behind them too? Is this just the other side of the bar? I'm dead. So then, how do they get out? From the sides? Those poor dancers are trapped in there forever. How will they eat? How will they survive? I take it back. I don't want to be a dancer in the room. God, I'm bored. You look bored. I am bored. I'm gonna be honest, I totally missed who won poker. And someone in this comments is gonna be like, You didn't even pay attention to what's happening in the movie. You talk too much. <laughs> Those are my angry glares to you, commenters. I promise you I'm gonna enjoy this movie just as much, even though I don't know the winner of that poker game. This is probably the least accessible vault ever designed. Yep. You'd need at least a dozen guys doing a combination of cons. <laughs> at least a dozen? You mean 11? I'm wondering if this movie was shot on film, because I feel like that would explain the grainy nature of this movie and the old-timey feel that I see from it, and also the exposure. Can we get a little fact check? Can we get a little mysteries? Am I just being stupid? Or like, did they edit it this way or was it shot on film? This guy actually tasted fresh oxygen before they grabbed him. Ooh. Of course, he was breathing out of a hose for the next three weeks. Okay, yeah. All three of them were sloppy. They just tried to run. These guys aren't gonna make it that obvious. They're not gonna run out the front door with bundles of cash. This is Brad Pitt and George Clooney. And whatever their names are in these movies, I don't really know, to be honest, I wasn't paying attention. Please state your name for the record. Daniel Ocean. Oh. So you're Ocean. What do you got against Terry Benedict? He torpedoed my casino. Don't think I don't see what you're doing. What are we doing, Ruben? Pathos, pathos, trying to convince you with pathos. Banksy has developed a bad case of bronchitis and is putting in for a transfer to warmer climates. <laughs> Good job, Frank. Phil Turrentine. Dead. On a job? Skin cancer. He sent flowers. Mm. Dated his wife for a while. Dated his wife for a while? I date him too. What? Who? I didn't say that. I didn't say- Who said that? Oh, this actor! He looks so young here too! Oh my gosh, most notably for his role as a principal in Mean Girls. Do you think we need one more? Alright, we'll get one more. So you are including yourself. still count nine who am i missing who am i missing what is going on in my brain oh my god is that who i think it is who are you how come a friend of bobby caldwell's mr damon always shows up out of nowhere is it just me or he just somehow appears mid-movie always he's always revealed way later just pops out of nowhere it's never established that he's in these i swear he doesn't show up in trailers or in cast lists, he just appears. Oh, the electricity guy! That's who I forgot. Gentlemen, the 3000 block of Las Vegas Boulevard. Not the spin transition. We're just supposed to walk out of there with $150 million without getting stopped? Good question, good question, Sal. Yeah. <laughs> Lol. Okay. He's the sweetest little gentleman. Oh my gosh. And his, and his little hat. Oh, okay. Thanks, Armin. I'll have this back in an hour. Try to your mom for me. 
Say it yourself. She'll be on stage in five minutes. <laughs> it's a family business. I love that. I'm dead. 33, we have a visual impairment. Copy that, I see them. Ain't no way I would ever be able to do anything remotely like this heist. Except for at Dungeons and Dragons. No, but seriously, like I would crack under pressure. I'd forget everything I had to do. Probably just panic. Curl into a ball and cry. If I had to do anything like this. Excuse me. Drop this. Oh, thank you. Take care. The fact that he was trying to run away and not see what that guy was saying, though, was hilarious. That probably would have given him away. Yeah, that guy doesn't seem to do well under pressure either. Honestly, that probably would have been me too. Yes, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> just like the gene. <laughs> do you moisturize? Why are we still holding on to his hand? I'm so confused. Aloe vera with a little sunscreen. Aloe vera is amazing. I might be able to drop that down to say seven. Uh, Sixteen each? Okay, well, uh, let me go get the paperwork. He intimidated his way? Wow. He just negotiated? From merely causing pain to a gentleman. That poor old guy. He didn't deserve that at all. Just crushed his hand. He's like, you're gonna make the price lower. And then he started talking about aloe vera. I love aloe vera. Wow. He was not even breaking a sweat by crushing his hand. And the old guy was taking it pretty well too, not making a scene. Impressive. So are you sure you're ready to do this? If you ever ask me that question again, Daniel, you will not wake up the following morning. Oh, so feisty. He said, this isn't my first rodeo. This is my favorite character by far. Sal is his name, whatever his name is. He is playing the part. He's looking fly, very flashy. Oh, that's why there's so many bags. He's rich, but also that's what's gonna be holding all the money. The last guy they caught cheating in here, he not only sent him up for 10 years, but he had the bank seize his house and he bankrupted his brother. His brother-in-law's brother tractor dealership, I heard. That's crazy. How does Brad Pitt make eating shrimp cocktail so cool? Why does he look so hot doing it? When I eat shrimp cocktail, I'm just like, ah. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is true. What, what am I watching? How did I know that Julie Roberts was, was in this? How did I know? She's amazing. It's freaking pretty woman in her prime time era. Huh? Oh, you know her? Her name is Tess. Of course he knows her. Tell me this is not about screwing the guy who's screwing your wife. Ex-wife. Julia Roberts' character is your ex-wife? Oh, someone. That's why I'm here. Do you honestly want to get revenge on someone that your wife left you for, though? Sounds like it's the wife that's kind of the issue, maybe. I don't have a husband, or didn't you get the papers? My last day inside. I told you I'd write. Huh. <laughs> I told you I'd write, oh my gosh, so this woman hates him. I wonder what happened. Oh my gosh. Just by her sheer uh, passion makes it seem like maybe Ocean did something wrong. I'm gonna make this quick. I came here for you. It don't seem like she wants you though, Mr. Danny, sir. Does he make you laugh? Nope. He doesn't make me cry. <gasps> oh my God. Okay, the writing in that entire scene was so good. Who did that? High five. The act, they acted the ish out of that too, don't get me wrong. George Clooney and Julia Roberts, they freaking killed that scene. But also, man, the writing? So witty, so clever. Forgive me for being late. Danny was walking through the restaurant and spotted me. Oh my gosh, look at his hand on his wedding ring. Still wearing the ring. That's so good. And she's looking at the ring. Oh my gosh, the direction. It's so good. Who did that? Who directed this? High five. Once the electricity goes, that's when we make our move. That was very impressive. That's a life-size replica. Not just, I thought the mini would have taken so long, but you made a life-size replica of the vault? That poxy demo crew haven't used the coaxial inch to back the main line, have they? Do you understand any of this? I'll explain later. I'll explain later. They did the same what I would have done, only they did it by accident. They're fixing it. So unless we intend to do this job in Reno, we're in Barney. What? Barney Rubble. Trouble! I don't really still- I still don't understand, but thank you for the explanation. Reese, do you know what he's saying? Did you understand the lingo? For those guys who don't know, you must know. Reese has been part of this channel for so long now. He's British. English. He doesn't say bottle of water, he says bottle of water. So sorry. Don't leave that in.
Tess is with Benedict now? She's too tall for him. She's too tall for him. Tall! Soul Bloom, is that you? Who knows him? Mikhail Vladimir. Hey! Hey, Saul! I have never enjoyed the touch of steel to my skin. That timing is awfully suspicious. I cannot actually allow you to accompany the briefcase into the vault. Why not? Insurance for one, security another, but most of all, I just don't trust you. Interesting. Well, at least he's honest. This is so interesting. So, are the gems themselves the explosive? Is that what we saw that the guy, the explosive guy, do? Maybe they're gonna reveal it to me at the end. You know how it's like they pull it off? Or they think they don't pull it off and then they pull it off and they tell us how they pull it off? I can't wait for that moment of the film. Hi, right, Sheldon Willis. Nevada Gaming Commission. I'm afraid I need two minutes of your time. Oh, look at him keeping his calm and cool. What are you still doing here? I thought you were out. Honestly, you'd cause a great distraction though. He's literally only here for that lady, which I respect. He's trying to fix his relationship with his ex-wife. You know what? I get it. No matter what it is, you won't win me back. Yes, I just came to say goodbye. Peace, later. Oh, he's gonna kiss her. Are you gonna let him? Almost. Be good. Almost. Did you see that in her eyes? Uh, he contemplated kissing her on the lips for sure. But he went with her the, the chivalrous side cheek because she's taken. Wow. It's also George Clooney. How could this lady, how could Test resist? Black man can't earn a decent wage in this state. That is oh, absolutely yeah, sir. Do your job. What you want from me, man? But you definitely won't let me deal the cars. Might as well call it White Jack. Good line, good line. White Jack. What a cool way to like distract Benedict, I guess. I still don't really see the vision. Don't want anybody seeing what goes on in here. What goes on in there? He's not coming, is he? <gasps> oh my gosh, are they beating him up or something? Or killing him or what? All right. Ah! That bunch sound effect, oh my gosh. Not until later. Sorry, Danny, I, I forgot. It's all right. Forgot what? Who are you? Oh, of course Danny knows that guy. That punch sound effect though, that should be illegal. That is way too not realistic, please. You might as well just have not added a sound effect. Come on, movie. Hey, 31, I got a bogey in West Corridor. Just pull a doctor! Knocked out! We have a man down and he appears to be unconscious. Oh, wow. I'm so curious if he actually passed out or if he did it as like a, uh, a little moment, as a little distraction thingy. Come on, man. Breathe. Oh, no way he died. I'm sorry. We've lost him. Okay, no, he's not dead. <sighs> well, good luck with that. Have fun, soldiers. Well, then you better leave off bothering me, don't you think? Literally have no idea what he's saying still. What is that? That looks like Mountain Dew. Oh, well, it worked. All right, crack. Nice. Not the whoosh sound effects. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Wow, be careful. Please be careful. Those are explosives. <gasps> And also, don't breathe that air, I guess. Oh, be careful, please. You should get into bouldering. Oh, his hand is stuck. Oh my gosh, but he's stuck because his hand is extra fat. One. Oh god, he got stuck in there. Check the batteries. You lose focus in this game for one second. I know somebody gets hurt. I hear Yen complaining. Oh my God, it's the lack of batteries. That's crazy. No! Please help me, Yen, get out of the way. Yen. Poor Yen, just barely managed to get out of the way. Okay, you know, you guys are acting very nonchalant for packing up this much money. This isn't mine. See who it is. Someone dropped a cell phone in your jacket? It's for you. That's so sketch. That's so scary. The man who's robbing you. What? Why would you do this? Why would you tell him? Is it just the cherry on top? Find out how much money we have down there. Yes, sir. 
Tess knows that it was Danny, of course. Oh, he dropped the phone when he went to go kiss her. As your manager's probably reporting to you now, you have a little over 160 million in your vault tonight. We're only packing up about half that. The other half, we're leaving in your vault, booby-trapped, as a hostage. You let our 80 million go, and you get to keep yours. That's the deal. He's in the casino by the slots. Of course I'm in the casino. I'm staying in your hotel. I have two words for you, mini bar. Two words for you, mini bar. I'm dead. That's hilarious. Not the sass back. Why would they end it this way so that they would just like take half? I don't know. I'm sure they're gonna reveal it to me and then I'm gonna be like, whoa, right? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Reaching elevator doors now. We have two guards bound, unconscious. Hey, guys, someone's here, someone's here. Hey. What just happened? I'm so confused. Did they just blow the vault? Tell him to take the van. So you literally just- And I have it hooked into my system! Yes, sir. So they just blew 80 million dollars. The one that you decided to keep. They literally told you that if you tried, they were gonna blow up the place. And you just didn't- you just had to not listen, Benedict. See, this is what happens when you go and trying to do things your way, not the smart way. And they say that there was no money in the bags. They say the bags were filled with flyers. That's so funny. Those are also flyers in the vault. Um, dead. They took all the money? Somebody made a duplicate of my vault. That's so good. Yep, it was the dupl- They- they ha used the, uh, the life-size vault. Not the spin transition again! He was literally talking to the fake SWAT team. And he told them to leave. That's so funny. Where'd you guys get this truck, though? Sir, we suggest you wait outside when you- Ha! They just took money from you. Ah, <laughs> uh, but it couldn't be him, because he was here getting beat up the entire time. Wow, he pulled it off. That's crazy. And it couldn't have been him, because he has an alibi! That's so funny. Benedict, I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay. You're free to go. That's so great. Oh my god. But are you gonna lie to Tess? What if I told you I could get your money back? If you give up Tess, what would you say? I would say yes. <laughs> In 72 hours, I'll find out who took your money. Show Mr. Ocean the exit and contact the police. I'm sure he's in violation of his parole. That's genius. That's so good. And he did that all to win Tess back. Cause this guy's an asshole who only cares about money. Clearly, he only cares about money and his business. Tess was settling for this lame-o, and now she has her eyes wide open. You of all people should know, Terry. In your hotel, there's mm -hmm. always someone watching. And she just watched you give up this girl for all your money. You don't love her, are you kidding me? And then Claire de Lune crescendoing in the back. That's hilarious. Get got, Benedict. Honestly, I, pr I wouldn't go with either guy. I wouldn't go for Danny either, because he seemed to have just lied to you for most of your marriage, which is not good. But at least she's free from this loser, which I think is something that Danny said anyway. Like, you don't have to love me, just don't love that guy. Which proves that he cares for her, though. Oh, oh, goodness. So maybe he did win the girl's heart. I just processed that all through. I just, you know what? Maybe I would go for Danny then. Wait, that's my husband. <gasps> that's my husband. He did that all to prove his love for her again. He's be good behavior again and then he'll have a whole life with you. Oh my gosh, my heart springs. He did that all for Tess. He didn't even care about the money. He hired all those people, got all that money, gave it to the 11 so that he could win his girl back. You kidding me with that? Are you actually for serious right now? I didn't know this was a love story. Uh, this whole time I'm like, ha ha, heist movie for the Dungeons and Dragons vibe. But no, this is kind of romantic. His heart and soul went into this. And it all clicked for her at the end. Like, oh my God. And it literally clicked for me. I was literally reciting like, oh, but then he did that because it was for her. And now I understand. And this string version, this orchestrated version of Claire de Lune is really hitting the spot. Saul, Sal, whatever his name is, best guy. He really carried the group. Three to six months later. <laughs> yes. yes, absolutely yes. Stopped and picked up your personal effects. Hope you don't mind. The girl? I'm not sure these belong to me. Yay! Aww. 
said that you sold this. I said that. Liar. Yeah, two can lie in this game. Aww. All to get his wife back! That was such a sweet little movie. Good job, Steven. Ted Griffin, the script, 10 out of 10. Oh, what are you, what are, I honestly, if you were to have told me that Ocean's Eleven was just a whole heist ploy plan thing for the main guy to try to get his ex-wife back, I would, I would have watched this 10 times sooner. This is so cute. Honestly, it was, it was like one of those things, right? It was like, it really seemed like this was like, like a guy film, like this was meant for guys to see. But because the whole freaking point of it was that he was trying to get his wife back. Oh, the integrity, the romance, I love it. It just made the story 10 times deeper and way more emotional. I love, it's not just like a person who had a vendetta. It's a person who was trying to win his wife back and did whatever it took to get his wife, even if it means he has to suffer again. Wow, that was so well written. Because in the beginning, they were like, you can't let emotions be part of it. We're doing this for the money. Ha ha ha. Emotions was everything. It was a whole point. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's making my D&D &D heist looking like <laughs> nothing. We have no emotional reason to do our heist. Actually, we kind of do, but not really. I'm thoroughly impressed. I was not expecting this to be as good as it was. Good job, Ocean's Eleven. I can see why now so many people are like, oh my god, we love heist movies, but they don't quite hit the mark like this one did. Oh wow, he freaking Robin Hood hooded that kind of sort of, not really, but you know what I mean. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed that commentary, make sure to leave it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't yet already, so you stay tuned to all my content, and don't forget to check out my last video. If you guys want to check out the full-length commentary to this movie, make sure to check out my Patreon page. We can gain full access to that and future movie slash TV shows that I do on this channel. Alrighty, y'all, have the bestest day ever, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Okay, bye, okay, bye, okay, bye!